Welcome back, everyone. Big Skillet here, broadcasting from the newly renamed Orion Command Center. Thank you. I really appreciate everyone that, that submitted suggestions. We had a, almost 40 suggestions, uh, most of them Greek mythology, as you would expect. And Orion Command Center seems like a good a good fit. So without further ado, let's get into the new gear. We're here to talk about the new gear, the gear that you can craft um, in the Ford ship, which is pretty cool. We haven't had new gear to craft for ever, it seems, right? And uh, so this is exciting. Uh, let's dive right in. All right, so we get to the Ford ship and click on Advanced. If you scroll all the way to the bottom, of course, they're always on the bottom, right? All the good stuff. Uh, you'll see four new pieces of gear. Uh, the first piece we're going to talk about is called the Alcade. It takes three Apox, a Wild Rose, and the new weapon we just got a, a couple weeks ago, the Swallow. And that's going to get you a new weapon that's called the Alcade that has total penetration of 4%, total attack of 40%, and total accuracy of 30%. It seems pretty good. You know, we'll have to compare it against the Wild Rose because that's that to me is really what it's competing against. Um, and, and we'll talk about that later in the video. Where I'll show a comparison of the two. Um, and it also requires this blueprint for the Al Alcalade, and I'll show you where we're going to get those as well. The next item is the Ten Long, and that's a Devastation Helmet, two of those. One Wrath of Stars and a Holy Grail and another Blueprint. And it's going to give you a total damage reduction of 4%, total penetration of 6%, and a total defense of minus 10%. Now that's the new helm, the headpiece. That, in my opinion, becomes best in slot for penetration. Um, made probably even for, for airships. Airships doesn't, doesn't want to deal with the, the crit, uh, negative crit, so... The next one is the Antares, which is takes two creators, uh, isn't cheap. Those come in uh, Guild Mobile on the weekend, plus 25. I don't know if you want to do that, but maybe have maybe people have a lot laying around. Uh, body, one Body of Phoenix, one Shuru, and one Blueprint again. Now, the total defense is 60, total HP 30, and total dodge 30. Um, and once again, we'll, we'll, I'll show you where to get the Blueprints. And not all the Blueprints... Are, are available right now. I think only two of the four are available in the new All-Star Contest shop. So um, the last one is, I'm not even going to try to say the name, but it, it, it takes two Speed of Gods, one Fearless, which is still best in slot for damage reduction, and Phantom, and of course another Blueprint. But you're going to get damage reduction, which is the same as the Fearless, 6%, total crit weather of 30%, and total resistance weakened effect of 30%. So we're going to compare those um, later on in the video to see the value and the difference between the items because there's a lot going on. When you're dealing with three to four items to craft, um, but anyway, so when you go to the All-Star Contest and you go to the shop, and we've already talked about some of the items, so you can get the items here. Not all of them, I don't believe, but most of them are here. And they're not cheap. They're a little bit more expensive, I think, than the items in the Peak Contest shop. They are here. Lord knows how long it's going to take to get them this way. Um, I, I don't seem to be, oh, you know, compiling a lot of those shiny metals or whatever they're called very quickly. And I've only played a handful of times a day. But here in the item portion of the shop is where you get the Antares blueprint. And it takes a hundred of those. Uh, which is crazy, and then the Bellic Battle Geist, and same thing. It takes a hundred of those to get one blueprint. So that's a hundred thousand coins to get one blueprint. I can't tell if it's going to take forever or not. Um, Body of Phoenix is here in the old World Event Shop, and the Apoc is here, a little bit cheaper, which makes which makes sense. They've been around a lot longer. And there's no blueprints there. So right now, they've only released two of the blueprints. And, um, yeah, that's that's a little, it's a little concerning, the cost of it. So let's take a look at the breakdown. 
So here we have the Alcade, which really its best comparison is the Wild Rose for the penetration, I think more so than the Swallow, right? So assuming that the Alcade is going to scale at the same rate that Wild Rose does, they both have the same penetration. The Alcade does have twice the attack, which is strong, which is very strong. It doesn't have strength and weaken. So that, that changes it a bit when you, you have your normal matchups, infantry against um, airships, airships against Walker, and so on and so forth. So you really have to make a choice on whether or not the SWE makes the difference in your normal fighting style. I think it does. Having the increased accuracy is good. Uh, don't get me wrong. But most commanders nowadays rely on guaranteed hits and guaranteed gem triggers. So the guaranteed hits from the gems as well. So I think the accuracy is not, is sort of misplaced in this in this uh, weapon. Um, I would prefer the wild you know the wild rose. I know the attack is significant, but when you're focusing on on, on penetration. And you're also always trying to fight against your strongest or, or your natural opponent. As, as a, an Uber main currently, I, I did switch, formerly Nico and Gilly. I'm not going after Rogers. Or I'm sorry, excuse me. I'm not going after any Walker commanders. So if I'm trying to face airships, I, I want the sweet. I want the additional sweet. It's going to reduce the damage I take, and I believe it increases the damage. No, I think it just it just decreases the damage I take, which uh, is important. And the next new piece of gear is called the Tang Long or Tang Lang. Um, it requires two devastation helmets, which is not cheap. I know they're probably getting more uh, affordable in upcoming events, and I think they have been somewhat recently. Uh, but I don't have a stockpile of them around, and getting them in the shop isn't easy or cheap. Uh, Wrath of Stars and the Holy Grail, both of those are relatively new pieces of gear. I mean, I think they've been around maybe four months, five months, something like that. I'd have to check, uh, you know, watch a couple of Melt videos, actually, is what I'd have to do um, to see when they were released. But the new piece of gear gives damage reduction of 4%, which is pretty good. Total penetration is 6%, which is really good and really, to me, the focal point of the piece. And then total defense is minus 10%. This competes directly with, and in my opinion, is better than the Devil's Touch. The Devil's Touch has the highest um, base total percentage, or excuse me, total penetration of 6%, which matches this. It does have airship a HP on it, which this has no HP, but it does have total crit minus um, and at level 46 which is what mine is is minus 112 percent of total crit i don't know about you guys but i'll take minus defense all day long I, i'd rather have the crit with everybody running crit wither the total crit loss of the devil's touch is a big deal to me to me the tan lang becomes a new perfect weapon for the headpiece, or excuse me, the, the new perfect headpiece for the penetration gear. The only problem is it seems like it's going to take forever and a day to get it because the coins, you know, 100,000 of those shiny metals or whatever they're calling them for the blueprint you need to be even, you know, to be able to make it feels like it's going to take a long time. All right, moving on. Um, the next piece is the Antares chest piece. Uh, it does have 60%. Uh, defense, 30% dodge and HP, but it does take two creators, a body of Phoenix, and a Shura. Now, I don't see this as a, as a chess piece that infantry is going to use. Maybe with the new T12 minus, it makes sense, damage reduction, you increase the defense, and the troop itself has increased defense. But I don't know. I, I don't know too many people that are running the, the T12 minus right now. Um, Shura has been a mainstay at the chess piece for infantry for sure. Between Nico, Gilly, now Uber for folks using that. And that's you know I took the I took the nasty plunge, give it a shot. Let's we'll see how it goes for the first couple weeks. 
Um, I can always go back, no big deal. But this chess piece, the base stats are better than the shadow. So maybe Walker, especially with the new um, T12 minus troops, might make sense with the increased defense. 60% defense right out of the bat. The 30% HP is more than the base uh, shadow of 25. Um, you do lose the resistance weaken, which it's hard to figure out that factors in. This is more of an all-around chess piece that it doesn't matter if, you know, you're, you're, you're going to get a benefit from it whether you're going against your natural opponent or against your natural enemy. Um, being, you know, if you're Walker, uh, you're gonna, it's not going to hurt you if you're going against uh, airships. It's not going to hurt you or help, you know, against infantry either. So it's just kind of neutral that way, as well, whereas resistant weaken really only works against your your uh, natural enemy, so to speak. So if you're a walker, you definitely don't want to go against airships if you can help it. But if you but if you do, the, the shadow and the RWE is really nice. Um, level 30 is 120 percent. It all adds up. So it helps you know reduce the damage that you take. Um, I'm still not sure. I'm not sold on it being an infantry piece. Feels like it's more, uh, more of a walker piece potentially. Um, airships here and there. I, I don't necessarily see Rogers running this by any means or Reinhardt, but maybe uh, a more tanky um, Vega or, D, or DS may. Uh, all right, let's uh, let's move on to the next piece and the final one. And the last piece, and probably definitely the hardest one to say for me, is called the Bella Goose. And I'm not going to be saying that over and over. I'm going to call it Beetlejuice. And I don't know if my hair is going to freak out and I'm going to change colors, my, you know, or whatnot, and, and start running around doing crazy stuff and turn into crazy creatures. But these Beetlejuice pants um, are are quite expensive and interesting though. Two speed of God, a fearless and a phantom, both newer pieces of equipment. And of course the, the very expensive, um, blueprint. Now I think this could be best in class for pants as far as, you know, damage reduction for sure. It matches the fearless at 6%. Um, now you do get HP from the fearless, but, it, and that's it. But with the Beetlejuice, you are getting the damage reduction, same same equivalent, 6%. I'm sure it scales the same. You get 30% crit weather and also resistance weaken effect at 30%. They probably scale at the same rate, the, the crit weather and, and the RWE. So uh, getting that extra, extra help with the RWE isn't, once again, I hate to say it, is not a big deal for for infantry because if you're going against walkers you're going to lose I don't care what you have on nine out of ten times for sure it just seems unless you're just that much bigger but in a fair fight as far as leadership size and you're both using the same troops you know T12 um, infantry's going to lose so <laughs> I don't see infantry using these necessarily because they're not going to benefit from, you know, the resistance weaken, most likely, at least not intentionally. I, I think the HP is a little bit better here than the crit weather. Um, it depends. I can see a I, I can see a, a tank Stella giving it a shot and seeing how they do, but a lot of people have a lot invested in, in their fearless fearless pants. You know, plus forty, plus thirty five. Those were not cheap to get there, and if you've gemmed them, or excuse me, if you put a guy stone and a spear stone in it, you recycle that stuff, you lose 20%, you know, 20 percent of each stone. Um, so it's a big deal. It's not something you can take lightly and just, you know, take the nesty plunge like I do with Uber, right? So I, I think they're I think they're really good um, for Walker again. I think they are good for airships. So Rogers, uh, Reinhardt. I'm not 100% sure you're going to see any DS or Vega running them. Um, I think you'll see Walker comms for sure running these. 
uh, definitely uh, Elf, I would think, would run run this. And I would also think, uh, even though Hancock gets the you know could use the HP, I think the crit weather is a pretty big deal, especially with the you know the T12 minus. I think that 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 factors in with the damage reduction and so on and so forth. Just just staying alive um, more. It's a tough call. I mean, I know walkers prefer to go against um, infantry, but it's definitely not uncommon for walkers to go against airships. So I think this this can definitely be a good piece for the walkers. I don't see infantry using it. It's a good piece. It's rather expensive, um, but all, all four pieces, you know, to, to sum it all up, they're interesting, right? It's hard to see, you know, how everything's going to play out with the damage reduction mana and the, and the T12 minus troops and you know the Aegis Hall that is I think the newest hall that, that or newest arc skin I should say so it, it's you know only time will tell there will be big spenders that will invest in these and, and give it a shot and hopefully we can see some replays and start getting the data out to let everybody know but that's it for me this is a really long vid video for me I appreciate you guys staying around and, and hanging out and watching with me and um, hit the like button like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the old bell icon at the top. That way you'll get notified when I have my uh, next video uh, hits the streets, so to speak. But uh, all right, everyone, have a good one. Stay shielded, stay safe.